Montana Rail Link is the eighth largest railroad in the United States. The new system called Positive Train Control, or PTC, is designed to remotely stop trains in their tracks. It will make all of those miles of train even safer. MRL can install this new technology with the help of a $3.5 million federal railroad safety grant. And as MTN's Cody Boyer reports, PTC gives the company the controls from a distance to prevent the worst. PTC adds yet another layer of safety. When you are the communications director for Montana Rail Link, you can't imagine it could be hard to track you down. Over the phone, Ross Lane told me positive train control, though, can help trains track a problem well before they get to it. Positive train control is an added safety layer uh, to stop certain train accidents from occurring. Train to train collisions, uh, derailments caused by uh, train speed. Utmost safety is not as simple as it sounds. GPS, uh, land based uh, radio towers, computer controls both at a dispatch center as well as a system of computers on the train. Central Valley Fire Marshal Bruce Hennequin in Belgrade, well, he's pretty used to the idea of trains and the danger they could pose. His crew responded when a man wearing dark clothes was nearly hit by a train a few weeks ago, forcing it to come to a stop. We see people wearing earbuds or headphones, listening to music, walking on the tracks. In this case, that may not have done anything, but what PC... PTC does allow for in the future is a very uh, complex system of uh, analytics. Lane says this is a voluntary precaution as all of the trains that belong to MRL are all on level two tracks. They don't carry any passengers still with these extra set of eyes that can add a lot of protection for the future as well as make it easier for them to see further down the tracks. At this time, there is no federal requirement for class two railroads. Lane adds that PTC uses technology like LIDAR and will be helped along with the installation of new signals to make up for the spots along the routes with bad cell coverage. Every rule and regulation that's written, you know, someone has paid for uh, with blood or their life. And so we take this very seriously. And with 83% of all freight rails in the country using this, Lane says being the first to volunteer shows a priority. We believe it's the right thing to do for our employees, but also uh, the communities in which we operate. According to the Positive Train Control Enforcement and Implementation Act, all U.S. rails will be required to use PTC by December 2020. In Belgrade, Cody Boyer, MTN News.